Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Tom. We're going to look at email history and email delivery and how some of these things work on your site. Um, basically how you can see if email is actually being sent to one of your members. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm logged into my admin site right now as a site admin. And the history tool for email is found under email and history. And then there's some filters you can use um, if you wanted to see all of your email. You could change this to a different date. Maybe you want to go back to the beginning of the year. Now it's only going to show me the last, I believe, 60 days of email. It purges after that, but you'll see a, a good history of email that's here. And you can use some of the filters to pick the different types of things. So if I wanted to see just weekly email, I could do that. It'll show me the weekly emails that have been sent. I think you get the idea here. I can do filters for type and who it was actually sent to. Okay. On my sample site, I don't have much going out for email, but you get the idea. I can even put in subject or who it was sent from. I can search for a, a specific date range if I wanted to. Basically, what I'm what I'm looking at right now is kind of fictitiously here, but say I've had a member that said, hey, I'm not receiving email from the site, so what's going wrong? So the first place I go to when a member tells me that is, number one, I need to know what their email address is, and then I go to the email history tool. So I'll go to email and history and then I'll just put in a date you know go back a little ways and search and if I know what their email address is so say the one I've got going here is the support one is the one I'm using so in Windows you know you can check for this but in Windows there's a find feature in Windows it's control control F and this little find box shows up so then I can actually go and type in their email address and I'm working with homeschool life right now and it'll show me all the instances so let's say the person who has support says hey I'm not getting these emails so this is the first place I would go to when we send an email out unless it is specifically sent to be delayed maybe it's a daily digest um, something like that it goes out immediately so if they don't receive it but it's showing up here the next place to look is actually in their email program. So that I would recommend that your users go to their webmail program. So don't use a client like a phone or Outlook. You actually go to their webmail. And as my example here, I've got a Yahoo account open. So I would go to my Yahoo account and then make sure, if I go to my address book, make sure they have lifeline at homeschool-life.com in their address book if they're a homeschool life website and if they're a service life they'll want to have lifeline at servicelife.com so those are the two email addresses we use so what that does is it tells your email service provider hey this is a valid email because these emails are coming from the lifeline addresses they're valid emails I want them delivered to my mailbox 99% um, of the time this usually solves the delivery problems that we've seen 100% of the time with Gmail this solves Gmail's issues so they're they're seeing the massive numbers of emails that are coming out from this lifeline address and they're assuming that it's spam adding it to your webmail address book whether it's Gmail or AOL or Yahoo whoever you're using this almost always solves that problem so like I said the first step is to go to email history you can actually search and make sure those emails are being sent who they're being sent to, verify that that's working correctly. You know, if you don't see it in here, then you want to go to that user's profile and check their settings. But if you see it in here, then I would tell them to go to their webmail account. Make sure it's not an app that they're using, but actually the webmail account. Go to the source and add lifeline at homeschool-life.com or lifeline at servicelife.com. If you're still having issues and need assistance from us, you can always reach us through the link on your homepage. Just click on create a ticket.